the Chorky. 50% Chihuahua, 50% Yorkshire Terrier, 100% unique. Each Chorky can take multiple characteristics of its parents. Because the Chorky can have either a shorter coat or a longer coat like the Yorkie, you can have so many different coat lengths and colors. And of course, they're small. <laughs> Tilly, the smallest dog in England, weighs just over one pound and is a Chorky. When you put the traits of the Yorkshire Terrier and the Chihuahua together, you get a dog that is tenacity times 10. A dog who absolutely has, in most cases, a Napoleon complex. Chorkies started popping up in the 90s, and its small size makes it the perfect apartment dog. Chorkies are probably most popular in urban areas. They are oftentimes very good apartment dogs, except for that little barking issue. That's right, Chorkies like to bark, or more accurately, yap. They've got the loud nature of both breeds. Chihuahuas and Yorkies are both very, very yappy dogs. But their fiery nature makes them great watchdogs. For a little tiny dog, they are more ferocious and fierce than a pit bull. One distinctive characteristic of the Chorky, its expressive eyes. They have um, very expressive eyes that have a really distinct black lining around them, which gives them a very sympathetic and endearing quality. Chorkies also have a very rounded skull. Like the Chihuahua, the Chorky is sometimes born with a soft spot called a malera on its skull. It fills in over time, but great care must be taken when they are puppies to protect their heads. The Chorky usually has the very big ears of the Chihuahua, while some have half-brick ears, ears that stand up to the tip, then flop over. The Chorky's diminutive stature, combined with their tenacious nature, can make socialization hard, as Ashi Webster found out. Ashi rescued her dog, Remy, he had kidney failure and was afraid of everything. When I found out that they said, you know, he probably won't make it through this, I, I cried. I think I cried for three weeks straight. But Ashi refused to give up. After many vet visits and a new diet, the kidneys finally recovered. But Remy's mental state was still an issue. He would hide in the corner. He would hide under the bed. If I opened up a can of soda, he would run away. Ashi decided to take Remy to a socialization class, supervised playtime with other dogs of all sizes. Ashi was worried about Remy among the larger dogs in the group. I was uncomfortable with the whole situation. He then became really uncomfortable. So Ashi took matters into yeah. her own hands. Remy, hi! She found a solution that helped not only her little Chorky, but over a thousand dogs and their owners. When Dogs 101 continues, find out the solution that transformed Remy. Ashi Webster's rescued Chorky was scared of almost everything. She tried a doggy socialization class, but little Remy was afraid of the big dogs. Her solution? Creating her own socialization class. She called it Dogs and Drinks. I love your outfit. The dogs had to be 15 pounds and under. The drinks get the party going. When humans get a little social lubricant in them, they relax. And when they relax, the dogs relax. It was just what Remy needed. At the first event, he started coming out of his shell. It was a beautiful thing. It's like watching a kid first learn to walk. Remy was not the only thing to grow. Soon, dogs and drinks became so big, Ashi had to find another location to accommodate a growing crowd. We've only been around now for about a year, and in that time, we have a little over a 1,000 members. Remy greets all the dogs as they come to the event, and even gets the shy dogs to participate. Oh, Remy's delightful. He's such a great social ambassador. You're such a good boy, Remy. Such a good boy. Remy and Ashi have been together for 18 months now. His health is restored, and he's much happier. And when you ask Ashi what life would be like without her best friend... Lonely. He's like a boyfriend and a child wrapped up in a package that will never talk back to you. <laughs>
Yorkies are great companions, but may not be the right dog for families with small children because of their tenacious nature. But its small size makes it the perfect apartment dog. Chorkies are usually fairly easy to train. They want to please their owners. However, they can be a bit difficult to housebreak. That's the Yorkshire Terrier in them. It's also important to groom your Chorky every few days to prevent the coat from matting, but beware. Start grooming your Chorky when it is a baby because as tiny as they are, trying to get a comb through a Chorky who is um, trying to bite up your hands is no fun at all. Chorkies are usually healthy dogs, but they can inherit some of the genetic diseases of the Yorkshire Terrier and the Chihuahua. So it's important that your breeder has done genetic testing for potential problems. Not all Chorkies are the same, but in general, they make good apartment dogs. They're healthy, but watch for genetic issues. Chorkies are easy to groom, but do it often. Training these smart dogs can be fun but their small size means they're not great dogs for small children. So to recap, designer dogs are an intentional cross between two different purebred dogs, and the Labradoodle was the dog that started it all. Originally bred in Australia, this cross combines the loyalty of the lab with the low shedding coat of the poodle. While the Chorky is a mix of two of the smallest dog breeds, the Chihuahua and the Yorkshire Terrier, these dogs boast a big dog attitude and come in a huge variety of colors and coat lengths. The Golden Doodle is another poodle mix with genes from the Golden Retriever. It's a great companion dog that may be good for those with allergies. Perez Hilton has one and he swears by it. The Chihuini may be a little yappy and hard to housebreak, but this combination of Dachshund and Chihuahua makes a great pet for older families. Cavachon is a cross between a Bichon Frise and a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. It's an easygoing and easy to train mix with long floppy ears and puppy dog eyes. The Puggle is a zippy little dog with the energy of a beagle and the friendliness of the pug. And it could be the only dog that both howls and barks at the same time. Remember, each dog is an individual and may not conform to breed standards. If you're adopting a dog, do your homework and check out PetFinder.com to search for specific dogs near you. Choose your next best friend wisely.